Some games are good, some games are just plain bad. And then there are games like Weather Dominance. So, is it worth your time and money? Well... The concept is promising. You play as cute cloud tasked with solving small puzzles and fighting various enemies, including other clouds, to achieve dominance. Or so I assume, despite an in-game tutorial, the game barely explains anything. According to its Steam page, whether dominance a roguelike to the side scroller where you play as intelligent cloud. Sounds kinda cool, right? The game was made by a single developer and I received the key directly from him for making this review. I would try to be as objective as possible here, highlighting both the good and the bad. I assume the game is set in prehistoric times because, well, you see cavemen in tents in some puzzle stages. Your cloud has six abilities, rain, lightning, snow, hail, storm and wind. You will need to use this creatively to finish stages and solve the game's puzzles. You can dash to move faster and you can absorb more water from lakes. So far so good. As a cloud you can move objects and interact with other items. You will mostly use rain to grow trees, put out fire or use wind to shift objects. Of course, there are battles too, where you fight other clouds and enemies, like turtles, bees, grass and torts. Yeah, really. The game never explained why these things are your enemies, though. Why are they all so hostile towards a happy little cloud? It's just trying to live its best life. Honestly, the game plays like a platformer, but since you're technically just a bunch of floating water droplets, you don't need to jump around platforms. At first I thought this was a puzzle platformer, but the further you get, the more it loses its charm. In the new game section, you can have four modes, explore, adventure, quests and challenges. Explore is essentially a bunch of tutorial stages, adventure is the roguelike experience, quests are puzzle stages and challenges, well, they are just two timed events where you either have to grow plants or put out fires as quickly as possible. One thing that is that I'm pretty sure the maps are procedurally generated because they are often feel way too random. In adventure mode, the supposed roguelike part, you fight through stage after stage until you reach a boss and you only have three in-game days. So you jump into a battle stage marked by two crosses sword and then you spend 30 to 40 seconds there at max and move on. It's almost comically random. Imagine a cloud that just appears, zaps you with lightning a couple of times, motors f*** you and floats off. <laughs> Sometimes you are tasked with helping characters or animals, reach apples or a barn or whatever. You'd think this would be challenging, but it's not. If there were a platformer where you had to avoid obstacles and traps, maybe it'd be more engaging. But as a cloud, you can just fly as high as you want. Super fun. Quick stop, thanks to me you're gonna get info on new and upcoming indie games, other than this one, so consider subscribing for more. <laughs> roguelike elements, they are there. In most roguelikes you pick up meaningful upgrades to power up your character, but here, after each boss you get to choose one of three upgrades that feel pretty pointless. And since the whole adventure mode only has three days, you get a max of two upgrades, not really game changing. To be fair, from bosses you can also randomly drop additional upgrades. It did honestly be easier to list the positives, there aren't many. The game crashed on me three times within two hours, I also had stages where I was supposed to clear obstacles so an NPC could reach an apple tree, but if I watered the tree first, the mission just ended. Mission accomplished? Why? There were also visual bugs like misaligned textures and useless upgrades like bigger lightning, instead of... It's just a bigger lightning bolt and that's it. Faster water absorption is helpful, but you only use it a handful of times, especially if you get it after the second boss. By the third day, there aren't many maps left to even use it on. What is the point? The biggest design flaw? After clearing a stage, it doesn't end automatically. You have to fly off the screen and hit the button to leave. I didn't know I'd completed a level several times because there was no clear notification. Again, to be fair, there is a sound that is supposed to do that, but while you are sometimes accomplish the mission even if you are still buttoning some other, let's say, optional units, you can miss it. I tried to show you the fun and the flaws. The idea of playing as cute, helpful cloud is great, and using natural cloud powers to grow plants, solve puzzles is kinda fun, but everything else? Not so much. Sure, it was made by one person, I respect the hustle, making a game slowly stuff, and they actually, let's say, finished and published it. That alone deserves a round of applause. But the reality is that the developer just didn't seem to have the experience to make a good game. Or maybe developer were just so excited to publish their first title that he rushed it. If that's the case, I'm still proud of them. Lots of people never publish or finish project at all. But charging $10 for this? Yeah, you got the idea.
Oh, and if you are curious about the UI and the stats, good luck. The blue bar is water and the white one is oxygen. Enemy is draining oxygen and when it's gone, you fail. The same goes for water. Sometimes enemies drop chests or you find them on the map. Some are locked. So you need a key, which you can buy from cloud shopkeepers. If you have a coins, which sometimes drop from enemies or after completing a stage, but not all the time and not always, there is a chance for obtaining reward after successfully finished map. The chest can contain more coins, gems, no idea what those do, or sometimes even a bomb trap. Oh, and there are achievements, yes, yes, but they are only in the game, not on Steam too. If you want to check out the game, there is a link in the description. But no, I am not recommending it. Don't blame me. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos for better games and subscribe if you want more. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.